हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाव यू ऑल वेलकम टू मेहदी इंग्लिश स्कूल माय सेल्फ नीलोफो मिस एंड यू ऑल नो माय सब्जेक्ट इज मैथमेटिक्स एंड दिस इज द दिस लेक्चर इज फॉर द क्लास टू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज ऑनलाइन लेक्चर आर यू ऑल रेडी फॉर दिस लेक्चर ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आवर ऑनलाइन लेक्चर एज वी सीन द वर्ड ऑफ द डे सो लेट्स सी विच इज द वर्ड ऑफ द डे so here is the quote of the day which is the more you practice the better you get it means you have to more and more practice for the sums you have to solve the sums more and more so you will get the better result you will solve the sum by yourself without taking anybody's help not for the one subject but in the all the subjects you have to do more practice so you will get the better result so this is the our today's what students now let's move to the to today's topic here is chapter number 3 today we are going to continue chapter number 3 which is subtraction so let's see first recap of the previous lecture so let's see students which topic we had learned in the previous topic uh, previous lecture yesterday so let's see students see students here is the topic which is connecting addition and subtraction the second one is number family and example and the worksheet we learned this topic we had done this topic in the previous lecture but therefore i revised this topics again so if you have any doubt according to this topics so it will be solved in this lecture so let's start the recap of this number family and connecting addition and subtraction so let's start this topic right now as i told you in the previous lecture students here is the subtraction and this is the sign of this subtraction and this sign indicates that you have to do minus you have to cut the numbers from the digit which are given so this sign which you are seeing here this is the sign of subtraction and you can call it minus you have to take away back something from the number which is given so it's called the subtraction let's see through the example here is the example of connecting addition and subtraction you can read here connecting addition and subtraction you can see here so how it is connecting to each other let's see through this example here is 5 and here is 7 so we have to add a seven number into this five number so let's count seven number after five how much it is together so let's start counting and you also start counting with me students so let's start after five number seven step we go so start with the six number 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so here we get the answer 12 and i write 12 number here which is our answer so here we get the answer which is 12 now this is our first sum which is 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 here now you can see we get this answer here now let's move for this sum which is here we take number 7 first in this sum we take 5 number first and in this sum we take 7 number first you can see this so in this sum we add five number into this seven number so we count five steps after seven so you let's count and you also will start counting with me let's count with the eight number and we'll go to the five step move let's start 8 9 10 11 12 so here we get the same answer which is 12 so i write 12 number here which is our answer so you can see this we get the same answer here 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 and here 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 so here we just swapping the numbers here is 5 first and 7 is second one and here we just swap the numbers i take 7 first and then 5 so if you change the order of the numbers so answer will be as it is this is the rule of addition if you change the order of number the answer will not change answer will be as it is so here is the addition concept now let's move to the subtraction concept we use this three numbers only which is 
5, 7 and 12. Let's see the subtraction of this. Here is the number 12 and 7. So you have to circle 12. You have to make 12 circle and then cut 7 circle from it. You have to make a 12 circle first and then cut 7 circle from it. So you will get the number. Which number you will get? You will get the number 5. So here is the answer 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. Let's move to the next sum. Here is the next sum. Here again I just change the number. Here is the answer 5. I take this answer here. So 12 is as it is but this answer 5 is here. I take here. So now again make 12 circle first. This 12 circle and cut 5 circle from it. So count how many circle you have now. Again I repeat. Make 12 circle, draw 12 circle and then cut 5 circle from it. So you will get the number 7. You will get the 7 number. So here you can see here we get the number 12, 7 and 5. And here we also having the number 12, 5 and 7. Here we also swap the numbers. Here I take 7 first and here I take 5 first. So here we get the answer 5 and here we get the answer 7. So that's, that is the way addition and subtraction are connecting when the number family are there. So which is number family? If you having doubt according to this number family, I take some example. Always take this number which is 8 and 5. So here this is the number which is the addition of this number. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. We, I am taking this number here because this is the family. Whenever it will be a family when these two digits are counting here together. 8 and 5. So 8 plus 5 is equal to 30. That's why this is the family students. So 8 plus 5 is equal to 30. Whatever you number take as a family number, this is the add as family number. Here is 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. This is the addition between these two numbers. That's why this is the family number. Just keep this in your mind. Now, let's take this 8 number first. See this. And here is 5. So, I do addition with it first. So, 8 plus 5 is equal to how much students? So, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. You can see here, I write here, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So, here you can see this. As I told you, here is the addition of this two digit and here is the answer of this. So, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So, here we get this number in this row. Let's move to the, this column. Here is 5 plus 8 is equal to how much? So, 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. So, here I write 13 number which is the answer. So, that's, this is the way. You can see this. Again, we get this family number here. I just swap the digit. Here is 8 first and here is 5 first. So, if you change the order of the number, it will be not, it will be not effect to the answer. Answer will be as it is as you see here. Here is answer 13 and here also you can see this. We get the same answer in this second row. Here we just swap the numbers. Here is 8 plus 5. So here we take 5 plus 8. So you will get the same number. Let's move to here students in the subtraction column. Here you make 13 circle first. Draw 13 circle first and cut 5 circle from it. So how much? You will get the answer. Which number you will get as the answer. And if you want to see shortcut. Here is 13 and 5. So which number is left in the family? This number is left. 8. So you can write 8 here. And whenever you draw 13 circle and cut 5 circle from it. You will definitely get this answer which I write here. Here is the answer. You will get the 8 circle after cutting the 5 circle from the 13 number. So this is the way you have to write down the answer in the family number. Let's see here the next example is from the family number here is the 13 number and here is the 8 number. So draw 13 circle first and cut 
एट सर्कल फ्रॉम इट सो विच नंबर यू विल गेट दिस दिस नंबर फ्रॉम द फैमिली यू विल गेट एज अ आंसर सो आई राइट हियर आंसर विच इज द अवर आंसर सो हियर यू गेट फाइव नंबर एज अ आंसर सो हियर यू कैन सी इन फोर रो देर आर फोर रोज एवरी रो हैविंग फैमिली फुल फैमिली एट फाइव एंड थर्टीन सो यू कैन सी हियर एट फाइव एंड थर्टीन हियर इज फाइव एट एंड थर्टीन हियर इज थर्टीन फाइव एंड एट हियर इज थर्टीन एट एंड फाइव यू कैन सी द नंबर्स द ऑर्डर्स आर चेंज बट द नंबर्स थ्री नंबर्स विच इज एट फाइव एंड थर्टीन आर टूगेदर इन वन रो वट एवर द फर्स्ट डिजिट इज हियर इज एट फर्स्ट यू कैन सी हियर हियर इज द एट फर्स्ट हियर इज द फाइव फर्स्ट हियर इन द टू बॉक्स देर आर थर्टीन फर्स्ट एंड हियर फाइव एंड एट बट द फैमिली नंबर विल स्टे टूगेदर ऑलवेज जस्ट कीप दिस इन योर माइंड नाउ लेट्स डू वन सम विद द शॉर्टकट मैथड लेट्स सी दिस मैथड स्टूडेंट्स here 9 6 and 15 now you can see which number is missing here 9 and 6 9 plus 6 so from this family number 15 is missing and i told you one thing here is the addition between this two digit and here is the answer of this digits 9 plus 6 is equal to 15 here is the answer of this two digit 9 and 6 so if you count this two digit together you will get the 15 number so here 9 plus 6 so this two digits are covered but this number is missing so you can write this two digit uh, this number here n which is our answer also if you count this 9 plus 6 you will definitely will get this answer which is 15 now let's move to the next sum which is 6 plus 9 again we just change the order of this here we take first 6 first and then 9 so here you can see this 6 and 9 is here so here is 6 and 9 is here so this number is missing and if you count this two numbers are together 6 and 9 so you will get this answer which i write here and my answer is 15 here so you will get 6 plus 9 15 here now let's move to the subtraction here is 15 minus 9 so draw 15 circle first and then cut 9 circle of it so you will get the 6 number so here you can see our family number will be complete here 15 and 9 so this number is not there this number is missing so i write this 6 number here and if you draw 15 circle and cut 9 number from it so you will get the 6 number as a answer Now let's move to the next sum, which is fifteen minus six. So here, just draw fifteen circle first, and then cut six circle from it. So here you can see fifteen is here, and six is also here. So which number is missing? You can see this number is missing here. So the answer is here will come nine. This way you have to write down the answer. This is the shortcut method, as I told you. Which number is missing from this three number? You have to write down that number. So here is nine and sixteen. Fifteen number is missing, so I write fifteen here. And this six and nine is here. Six and nine. So here fifteen number is missing again, so I write fifteen here. Here is fifteen and nine. Fifteen minus nine. So fifteen and nine. So this digit is missing, which is six. So I write six here, and also this is the answer of fifteen minus nine. In the next sum, fifteen and six, fifteen and six. If you cut six number from the fifteen circle, you will you will get this number, which is our answer. So this is the family number. This is the concept of family number. Student. Now let's see through one example, which is already are answered, already solved. Here is the three digits, which is nine, one, and ten. So you can see this nine. Plus one is equal to ten. So here is the total of two digit is ten. You can also count this one plus nine is equal to ten. So this is the total of this two digit. This is the answer. And now one, nine, and ten. These three are family numbers. And here is one plus nine is equal to ten. So here this three digits, this family is complete here. 
Now next one, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Again this number of family is completed here. Now here 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. Again this 3 number of family is completed here. Now in the last one 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. So is the, in this example again this concept this family number is completed in all the rows together. So here is one more example. Here is 3 plus 7. So 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. So this is the answer of 3 plus 7, 10. You can see this 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Here is 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. So here you can see this number family is completed. Now in the subtraction portion 10 minus 7 is equal to 3 here. You can see this. Here number family is also completed. Now in the last one 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So here also we get the 7 answer and this our family number is completed student. Students, let's solve an example so you can uh, easily solve the sum by yourself. So let's start. Here is the number 6 and 9. So now you can understood now. Here is the total 6 and 9. Here is the total of this number is 15. 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. So let's start adding this number. Here is which students? Okay. I write 6 number first, 6 plus 9. So, hope you know which answer will come here. 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. Now, here 9 plus 6 is equal to how much? So, here 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. So, here we get this answer. You can see this here just we swap the numbers. You can see here. Here I take 6 first. And here I take 9 first. So now see students now I take 15 number first. So I write 15 here and minus 9 number. So now you can see this here is 15 number and 9 number. From this family this number is missing. So if you draw 15 circle and cut a 9 number from it you will get the number which is 6. I write here 6 number and I write 15 here and minus 6. So, now you count, see this, here is 15 number and here is 6 number. So, this family, this number is missing. And if you do 15 circle and cut 6 number from it, 6 circle from it, you will get the answer 9 and try this students, you will get this answer only and hope this concept is clear to you all and let's move to today's topic and which is so here is our topic the hundreds grid this is the our today's topic and we see the we will see the example of this hundreds grid i will explain to you through the example and we also solve the worksheet so let's see what is this hundreds grid anybody have any idea about this topic so if you have then very good and if you don't have any idea about this topic related to this topic I will explain to you what is it let's start this so here is our today's topic which is hundreds grid so let's start understood what is hundreds grid so here is the table you can see this here is one to hundred number you can see on the screen just you can add or subtract the numbers Using this 100 numbers table, 100 grid, it means 1 to 100 number in the table. You can see here, here is the table in the column. Here is the first column, here is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, and ten. So here is the tenth grid here, it's called grid. You can also call it column. So here is the table, here is the column. Having 1 to 100 numbers. Nothing new in this. You all know 1 to 100 numbers. So here is just 1 to 100 numbers are there. Now how we use this to add or subtract numbers. Let's see how we use this 100 grids number. So how we use you all having question into your mind. That how we use this number grid. How we, how we use this 
to add the numbers or uh, subtract the numbers let's see how we do this so here is one question so first one is 34 minus 10 so if you want to solve this sum you have to write down 34 then minus and then cut 10 numbers from it you have to see you have to take first one column and that cut the numbers and then move to 10th column this this too much process you have to do to solve this number but through this hundreds grade you can easily in the one second you will get the answer and how let's see so just keep this in mind this number which is 34 so let's see 34 first so how we use how we get this number 34 minus 10 how we get the answer here let's see how we get answer using the hundreds grid here is the hundreds grid and our number was 34 so you can see here here is the number 34 and how we get the numbers in this table so if you want the answer we our first number was 34 minus 10 right so you have to go back 10 steps and you will get the answer and I also told you the short form how you have you get the answer easily first we can see the one uh, once uh, let's see this here is you have to go 10 steps back from this number so here is our number you can see this through this red dot here is the first way I will show you so let's move to the 10 numbers back 1 2 3 then move here 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so here is our number 34 and if you move back 10 numbers from it you will get this number which is 24 so this way easy it is so if you move back one step to this number here is 34 34 number and you have to move back one step you have to go back one step from this number so here is the one step in which you have to count 10 numbers back from it and you will get the number here and in the second step here is the 34 number you have to go one step how to go let I, I will show you here is the 34 number I'll circle it and you have to go back one step so you will get the answer 24 you can see this if you just go back one step if you cut the numbers if you subtract the numbers you will go back okay so here is 34 minus 10 so here you get the 24 number and if you want to add 10 numbers to it you have to go move one step to the number see how here is the 34 number which is circle and if you want to go back 10 numbers so here you get the answer if you want to add 10 numbers you have to move forward and if you want to minus 10 number you have to go backward so this way you will get the answer using this 100 grid so this way you have to do this students here I write the answer which we get 34 minus 10 so which answer we get that we get this number and 34 plus 10 so we get this number which is 44 hope you understood this but let's understood through the one more example so you will be easily understood this how what is the concept it is actually so here is the 55 I take one more number which is 55 and I want to cut 10 numbers from it so let's see how we cut this numbers through this hundreds grid and in the next sum I want to add 10 numbers into this and I have I want both the answers from the hundreds grid let's see how we get the answer in the hundreds grid here is the hundreds grid and I circle 55 number here you can see this here is the 55 number you can see and the first sum was 55 minus 10 so I just move back one step from it so I will get the answer here you can see this I move just one step back so here I get the number 45 you can see this I just move back 10 step so you will get 45 number and also I want to add 10 numbers to it so you have to 
just come here so here is the number 65 and 45 which is our answer how to write this answer let's see students here i write the answer in the first 55 minus 10 so we get 45 number so i write here 45 number and here 55 plus 10 so we get the number which is 65 so this way we have to add or subtract the numbers using this hundreds grid hope you understood this concept so let's move to the next sum which is 45 let's do something new not a 10 number we take five number here 45 plus 5 so how we get the 45 plus 5 so let's see how we use hundreds grid to this answer let's see students question was 45 plus 5 so let's see here is 45 number you can see i circle it here is the 45 number and i have to count to five steps from it then i will get the answer so let's see one step 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here is our answer 50 you can see this here is the five step i just move five step then i will get the answer here is from the 45 i will move five step and then i will get the answer so here is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here is my answer 50 you have to go forward not the backward you have to go forward you have to go right side so here we are adding the numbers that's why we go right side and let's write our answer which is 50 students i write here the answer which we get here we get the 50 numbers let's see for the next sum which is 44 minus 4 so let's see this sum in the hundreds grid how we get the answer in the hundreds grid just remember this number 44 we have to cut four number from it and let's see which number we get let's see in the hundreds grid students here is the hundreds grid and i circle 44 number here you can see this here is the 44 number and we have to move back because we get the numbers here so we have to move back we have to go left side here four step so let's see which number we are getting here is 1 2 and 3 and for the next step we are going here which is the 40 here is our fourth step so here is the, our answer you can see here is the four number 1 2 3 and after 41 we have to move back here is the 40 number so our answer will 4040 so let's write 40 number in the answer i write number 40 here which is our answer hope you understood this concept how to add or subtract number using this hundreds grid let's see one more example which is 36 plus 6 so we have to go right side six step and we'll get the answer let's see this how we do this with the hundreds grid let's see students where is the 36 number i circle the 36 number here so we'll move the six steps from it so here is 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 so students which number we get from the six step here is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 from the 36 we add a six number in it and we get this number which is 42 so let's write number 42 as a answer in this question let's write students students i write now here the answer which is 42 we get in the hundreds grid now let's see we have to move back 12 step from 66 number we have to move back 12 step and then we get the answer so let's see in the hundreds grid which answer we get using this hundreds grid just remember this number we have to go 12 step back from this 66 number we have to go left side so let's do this sum in the hundreds grid. students i circle 66 number here so now from this number we have to go back 12 number 12 step let's go back 1 2 3 4 5 here is five step let's start with the 60 number five step after 6 6 7 8 9 
एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस वी मूव बैक ट्वेल्व स्टेप लेट्स काउंट इफ इट इज ट्वेल्व और नॉट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व सो हियर वी गेट द आंसर फिफ्टी फोर नंबर एंड लेट्स राइट दिस नंबर एज अ आंसर आई राइट द नंबर फिफ्टी फोर which we get as the answer here is the 45 number which is the answer hope you understood this topic students thank you students for listening me and let's meet in the next lecture students just write down the notes into your book write down and be safe bye students